So let me, first of all, welcome each of you to uh, our real estate webinar. Uh, we are recording this for uh, the purpose of using this and also for uh, sharing this on our website, et cetera. Uh, my name is Kyle Swicegood, and uh, I want to let you know that at the end of this presentation, there's going to be a link for you to be able and uh, ask any questions. It'll be emailed to us. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to my partner, Zach Johnson, uh, to get us started. Awesome, Kyle. Thanks for that. I uh, just wanted to start out with uh, a few of the firm. Uh, it's kind of a core principles we we focus on as we do our day-to-day -day business. Really, we believe, number one, uh, that the selling process needs to be simple. Uh, that's why we love the auction process. Number two, we believe that sellers deserve uh, absolute certainty when it comes to selling their most valuable assets. Uh, we also believe that buyers deserve a fair shake when it comes to purchasing those assets. Uh, and really, at the end of the day, why we do what we do is we believe the auction process will consistently yield the highest sales price for our sellers uh, in the shortest amount of time. For actually 31 years, uh, believe it or not, I've been in the real estate business and as, as my primary means and my primary occupation, um, I have sold both uh, conventional. I have also sold at auction. I've sold residential land, commercial leases, and many, many various types of, uh, of real estate assets. So tonight, what we're going to focus on is why we believe the auction process works. Zach? Thanks, Kyle. And for those of you just joining us, do know that we are going to record this and make it available uh, to you. It'll be via a link uh, that we can email you in case you miss something or just uh, want to take notes afterwards. But really, the auction process, you know, when we think of the word auction, we think of a bid caller uh, up with a microphone calling bids, whether it be real property, personal property. And really, you know, that's still alive and well. And we do engage in live bid calling. However, here in the past, I mean, even more than 10 years, everything has been transitioning to online auctions. Uh, in our firm, we like we don't like to toot our own horn, but we've tried to stay ahead of the ball uh, and really embrace the change that was coming instead of fight it. And I believe we've positioned ourselves uh, to have success in this digital marketplace. Really, the, the bid caller's microphone has been replaced by a cell phone and the bidder now uh, they're, they're all, you know, on their phones 24 seven, just like everybody else in this world. Uh, and we're using that, uh, to bring the auction market and the auction method of, of selling, especially real estate to those people. Uh, as far as the bidding platform goes, we have our own proprietary bidding platform on our website. If, if people have used eBay, it's a lot like that. It's, it's quite simple, very intuitive, uh, simple to use and really that's the name of the game. Uh, the auction method itself is just a, a method that we use to arrive at a purchase price. Once the auction begins, and I'll just back up and say this, the selling real estate via auction is a lot like the traditional uh, you know, listings like we're all used to uh, in the sense that we still list all the properties on the MLS. Uh, they are still uh, able to be previewed or have an open house. We, we call them previews in the auction world, but the public is encouraged to come take a look. This isn't something where they're bidding on an unknown. Uh, we encourage due diligence, you know, any inspections they want to complete. Uh, they're more than welcome to do that. We're trying to convey we have nothing to hide. Uh, again, the auction method of marketing just creates a sense of urgency amongst the buyers, a, a sense of excitement. Uh, and really is just a way to arrive at a purchase price. Once the purchase price is determined, that high bid is determined, uh, at that point, it be, really becomes a traditional real estate closing. There's still a closing attorney involved. There's still title insurance. There's still uh, you know earnest money. Everything's the same, uh, conveyed via general warranty deed, most of our auctions. Uh, the, the difference is just how we arrived to that point. Uh, in the future, we're, we're planning some more webinars to really dive into the ins and outs of, of how the auction works. But uh, 
for the sake of brevity, I don't think we can really dive head first into that tonight. Uh, but Kyle, as far as advantages of auctions over listings, why don't you hit a few bullet points and just expand on that for us? Yeah, I'll be happy to, Zach. One of the reasons I got into the auction business, many of you remember what happened in 2009. Uh, I was a conventional real estate broker, uh, did very well. And then all of a sudden I went six months without a commission check and I had to figure out how to sell property. Uh, so I went to auction school. And one of the things that we, I discovered was there, there is a huge difference in the auction method versus a conventional proposition. Uh, the conventional contract that 99% of all real estate uh, brokers use is what I would say a buyer weighted contract, meaning uh, they have a, the ability uh, to do inspections, which we pr provide that ability as well, but they have control of the property. Inspections are done uh, at an auction level while uh, they are ready or getting ready to bid. Once they bid, they're accepting that property with their bid in the condition that the property uh, is. So the contract that we use is very seller weighted. We sell as is, where is, with no contingencies. Zero seller paid commission. We are a buyer premium company. Uh, we won't get into uh, not violate the Sherman Antitrust rules, but we do a buyer premium on all of our real estate auctions. And we believe, and, and we sell this to our, our clients, we deliver a time-defined solution. Real estate brokers, for the most part, get a six, eight, nine, 12-month contract. We're interested in marketing the property in a period of time that usually is 30 days. And that's what our sellers like because we are able to accomplish market plus in a 30 day period of time. So as an overview, seller weighted contracts, we don't pay uh, uh, any closing cost uh, that the buyer requests because we create the terms and conditions of the sale up front. In the real estate conventional world, you're sitting there playing catcher and you're catching an offer under the buyer's terms. We're delivering to the marketplace a offering under our terms. Yeah, and Kyle, I just want to expand on that. The, the, what you said, uh, the, the seller creates all the rules in an auction. We as the seller side, we, we set the, the timeline of the auction, the terms and conditions. Really, the seller gets to set every single rule. The only thing the buyer gets to set is the price. And we think that's a fair trade-off. Uh, the buyer, um, earlier when I said that we believe the buyer deserves a fair shake, right now uh, in this real estate market, buyers uh, are beating their heads against the wall because they're competing, it's, it's highly competitive. There's a shortage of inventory. Buyers are cutthroat and we're, we're getting prices, you know, over list price or, you know, offers over list price. We're getting crazy earnest money deposit and due diligence fees. Really the auction method levels the playing field. Everyone has the same exact terms, the same exact conditions. The only variable is the, the price, the bid. And the buyers on our bidding platform they, they can see what the current high bid is. They can see the countdown uh, of the auction to see how much time is remaining. Really, if they want the property, uh, there's nothing keeping them from getting it. Uh, they just have to be willing to bid that next bid, bid increment. So there's, it takes away the unknowns and makes it a more fair process. Uh, Kyle, I just wanted to touch briefly on, uh, you know, what we talk about why we, or what we believe and why we believe it. Uh, but have, have we done it? Have we walked the walk? I've actually compiled some stats over the past couple of days since 2019. So here we are halfway through 2021. So in the past two and a half years, we've sold over $20 million of real estate and personal property at auction. I'll just repeat that 20, over $20 million worth. Uh, and that's residential, that's land, that's uh, commercial real estate. Uh, really from Washington, D.C. or the Beltline up there all the way down to Charleston, South Carolina and everywhere in between. We're licensed in both North Carolina, South Carolina and Virginia. Uh, and when I say 
uh, I just saw right there up on uh, Mount Hebron Church Court. We literally, we've sold everything from uh, entire mountains to Civil War battlefields and, and everything in between. Um, Kyle, thanks for pulling that up. If you want to talk about some of those, those properties. Well, you know, uh, I think what would be better, Zach, would be to ask the, the interesting question that some of our viewers are, I'm sure, wondering, and that is, what about personal property? We do a lot of estate work. So many times we'll get a call uh, and there's been a death in the family. Uh, mom or dad has passed away and their children have inherited a house, but the house has got a tremendous amount of value, but the hurdle is personal property. Personal property like tractors, guns, gold, furniture, china, uh, collectibles. And one of the great things about our uh, system is we have a personal property crew that goes in, lots, tags. When I say lot and tag, they basically go in and photograph every single asset. It goes to the cloud, and then it comes back down to our website, and they have the ability to go to auctions right here on our website. And I'll give you an example. Here is a deceased gentleman Star War collection. And they have the ability to go right here and sell, we, we, we sell everything they've got. This is a unique uh, uh, proposition uh, for those of you that are Star Wars fans. Uh, we are selling, I don't know, four or 500 lots of original Star Wars uh, toys, collectibles, et cetera. But we also sell things like 12 acres. Uh, this is a condo right now that we're selling in Winston-Salem, regardless of price. This is a deceased person's collectibles. And they had statues, figurines. This is a house in Sherwood Forest. This is a sellout in a uh, property in Pilot Mountain. Uh, this is one in Davie County. These are currently going on right now. So we have the tools necessary to accomplish both personal property and real property. Uh, let's talk about marketing. We believe in staying in our lane. Our lane is working with buyers and sellers and creating an auction environment we hire a company that does our marketing and we take digital marketing very seriously. On an average month, we'll have 55 to 100,000 visitors to our website. And in the digital e-commerce world, that is what it takes to have a successful auction. Uh, Zach has uh, commented in the chat, if you go down to the bottom of your screen, you have the ability to see a feedback uh, link. And what we want you to do is highlight that link and that'll go directly back to us. And we wanna answer your questions. You may be just curious about what we do. Uh, you may have a, a property that you wanna sell. Either way, we're happy, we're an open book and uh, we wanna help you learn more uh, about the auction industry. Zach? Yeah, and I just wanted to, to thank everyone that uh, showed up tonight uh, for this webinar. We didn't want to keep everyone super long. We wanted to give you a chance to just see what it is that we do. Uh, we are going to dive deeper into uh, some more topics. On that uh, feedback link that is posted in the chat, which I'll also email to everybody uh, that attended this evening, uh, there's there's options to select from, we, I think we have three or four upcoming uh, webinar ideas. Uh, we would appreciate your feedback. One of them I think was personal property. One was uh, a deeper dive into the, the contracts. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of different options. We would appreciate any feedback that you may have. Uh, we are planning another webinar for the 22nd of this month. So in roughly three weeks, uh, again, whatever feedback we get, we'll use that to determine the topic of that one. Uh, also in the chat, Kyle, I placed both your uh, cell phone number and email as well as mine. If Kyle or I can ever help anyone on this call or anyone you know, or if you just have questions, 
uh, feel free to call or text us anytime. Uh, we always have our cell phones on us. Uh, you know, whether that's a good or bad thing, uh, it's not that hard to get in touch with us. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to thank everyone for coming out tonight. If if you do have any questions, uh, I'll, me, Kyle and I will both stick around after the uh, the webinar closes. If you want to converse with us one-on-one uh, -on -one via video or the chat, we'd love to talk with you. But uh, with that. Kyle, unless you have anything else, I'd just like to send these uh, folks on their way. Yeah, so that uh, our visitors uh, and our guests, I should say, uh, know that uh, we believe in the real estate auction method. Uh, Zach, why don't you tell them about uh, your success story? My most recent one is 10 acres at Pilot Mountain, and uh, we actually auctioned that in seven days, not 30, and uh, satisfied, more than satisfied our seller. Why don't you tell them about your mountain property? that uh, you just had some success with, I believe it was on uh, Thursday. Yeah, Tuesday. It was Tuesday night we closed out a, and this is on the sold uh, section of our website if you want more information. It was a double wide manufactured home recently built 2017 up in Ash County. Uh, interesting thing is the seller told us, uh, you know, I'm hoping to get 200,000 roughly for it. Uh, the appraiser said, yeah, you know, uh, two, two and a quarter, uh, it might be what, what it's worth. My uh, uh, market analysis told me it was a little bit higher, but we figured we'd let the bidders tell us. We ended up dropping the hammer on that thing with a contract price of $302,000. Uh, it was a cash buyer and we're going to be closing here in, in the next 15 to 20 days. Uh, but just an example of competition. Uh, all it took we had 25 registered bidders, over 5,000 people uh, went to our website to view the auction and view our marketing materials. Uh, but all it took at the end was a handful of bidders to create that competition. Uh, and yeah, like I said, $302,000 is the hammer price. Uh, sellers were ecstatic. Buyers were equally ecstatic. They love the property. Uh, they confided in me. They said, hey, I probably would have paid more. You know, I said, well, that's the beautiful thing about the auction method is you're going to pay uh, you know, what you're comfortable with. And uh, in the end, we had two happy parties on both sides. And I, we're just blessed to be able to, to make it happen as a company. Our uh, real estate website and auction website is ready. The number two bid.com. You see that on the screen. And I want to thank each of you for coming and remind you that our next webinar is on 722 of 21. And if you have any questions, take advantage of the link that Zach will be sending you tonight. Folks, thanks for coming. Call us if we can help you in any way. Thanks for the thumbs up, Blake. And again, folks, if anyone wants to stick around and unmute their camera, Kyle, do they have the ability to unmute themselves? I believe they do. And uh, we've got 12 minutes before our next Zoom conference that we're going to have to be exiting on. So if you have any questions, now's the time to answer. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable, just use the link. Yep, absolutely. As they say in the auction business, going once. Going twice. Look at the guy here. How many dollars on it? I'm all right here. All right. Thank you very much, guy. We appreciate it. Uh, guys, I'm ending this uh, conversation. Stay tuned. July the 22nd, 2021. By the same time, go to the website to get the invite. Have a great night. Thank you, everybody.